And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. February 12th, 1873, 144 years ago today. The day fossil hunter Barnum Brown was born in Carbondale, Kansas. Prophetically named after circus showman P.T. Barnum, Brown was instrumental in igniting a worldwide fascination with dinosaurs, a fascination that continues to this day. As a child, Brown collected fossilized shells from mineral deposits near his home and later landed a job with the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Then, in 1902, while digging in Hell Creek, Montana, Brown discovered the partial skeleton of a huge, previously unknown dinosaur. Scientists named it Tyrannosaurus rex, Latin for the Tyrant King. The bones were shipped to New York and, in 1906, put on display. Crowds lined up for blocks to see the beast the New York Times called a monster. A stylish man known on occasion to wear a fur coat on expeditions, Brown then unearthed a more complete skeleton, including a nearly intact skull. The T-Rex would become by far the most famous of the dinosaurs, a crowd pleaser in films like 1925's The Lost World, wrestling with the giant ape in King Kong, and of course, wreaking havoc in the Jurassic Park movies. Sinclair Dino Land. Ever the showman, Brown's last project was designing the dinosaur models, including his beloved T-Rex, for the Sinclair Oil exhibit at the 1964 New York World's Fair. Dino is the most popular souvenir sold at the fair. He would die at age 89, a few months before the fair opened. And while he never got to see his work on display, he would have been pleased that, no surprise, crowds lined up for blocks, as they still do whenever a dinosaur comes to town.